Hello, this is Andrew Bain with Elevated SEO and Web Design, and I'm here with lead designer Lauren. And we just wanted to discuss today four ads in a series. How are you doing today, Lauren? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Wonderful. Well, what we have in front of us is four consecutive full page ads that you designed. I wanted to get a little bit of feedback on uh, your process and what the original reason for a full page ad was and what did you guys do with your full page ad? Um, these are going in a magazine, uh, uh, a local magazine here in Nebraska called uh, Edge Magazine. It's a very um, lifestyle based magazine and we just wanted four somewhat sim uh, similar uh, ads to go, um, one for each month. So they're gonna go uh, for the next four months so we wanted to break it up. We wanted to try something a little different from month to month uh, to get our message across. Uh, we started off here um, from left to right with uh, the Does Your Website Work For You ad. That was the very, very first one we did, uh, I made for you guys. Um, we uh, I used some colors from your logo. Uh, your colors are pretty much uh, orange and, and gray. We also throw some black and white in there from time to time, but you know, this was the a good first ad. Uh, we found a really nice clean image, uh, a nice workstation, and uh, the headline I think is a perfect headline. Uh, Does your website work for you? It really opens up the conversation. Of, hey, what is your website doing for you? Is it strictly information? Is it bringing you leads or people calling you, coming to you, asking for business through your website? Yeah, as a designer, do you often also have to come up with the headline and figure out what content is going to be on the ad as well? Absolutely, absolutely. You can't. Uh, you want to get as much feedback as possible from your client before starting any project. Anything from, hey, uh, do you have any uh, general idea about what you want to say? Uh, any kind of image you want in there? Um, some clients will be very prepared, very ready to go, almost want to help you design it. Others, uh, it's like pulling teeth, getting information from them. But you got to do that up front. Uh, you got to find out what exactly needs to be on there. Uh, contact information, um, you know, a, a couple bullet points they really want to get across. Uh, and then you kind of go into, well, What's the theme of the uh, of the design? What's the theme of the ad? You had mentioned that uh, sometimes it's like pulling teeth. What would you say to an aspiring designer? Um, your process is ahead of time to gather the information you need from your client because, as we all know, that's mm -hmm. probably the hardest part of the process is figuring out what your client wants so to say. That's that's true. Uh, you know, a lot of times. Uh, the client will just have a general, well, they know they want to make an ad. They have the money or the budget for it, but they don't know exactly what they want, or they might just have a, a very faint image in their head. Uh, I always like to build something beforehand. Um, yeah, I've done this a lot. So it, you can just throw something together or do an outline. I like to make something, something fully fleshed out and just kind of show it to them and be like, hey, more like this, less like this, mm. or maybe do two, uh, you know, very simple designs, layouts, and say, hey, do you want to move in this direction or do you want to move in this direction? After you have something to show the client, uh, it's a lot easier for them to talk about it and say, yes, I like this, or no, I don't like this, and give you reasons why. Yeah, that's great. Um... I notice here that it says call now for a free assessment. We call that a call to action. Could you talk a little bit about uh, how you place a call to action on there and um, what what's the what's the purpose of a good call to action? Um, the good a good call to action is supposed to grab your attention and make you act uh, by now or call now. Um, it really is. Uh, engaging or kind of daring the customer to hey pick up the phone give me a call uh, it's time sensitive let's do this right now uh, you gotta be very careful where you place this and how big you make it how in your face you are with the customer about it 
you want it to you want you want it to draw your eye in the ad. Um, when you look at an ad, especially in this ad number two, generating business online, you see it down there. It's uh, it's bold. It's white on black. Uh, the numbers right next to it, but it's not overbearing. It's uh, it definitely draws your eye to it, but it's not in your face about it. And and that's kind of the type of uh, advertising that I like to do. It's not. It doesn't hit you over the head. It's there. It's informative, but it's not an eyesore. It's attractive looking. Yeah, absolutely. It is. So um, just uh, one more question, and it's kind of a loaded one, but I wanted you to kind of break down the process a little bit because what you're going to talk about in the course is Mm -hmm. obviously the entire process, but Mm -hmm. I noticed that you kind of have uh, one main image, a call to action. Could you just talk about a few of the the prominent um, pieces that you have that make up the entire uh, one full page ad. Sure, sure. Um, all design, uh, all uh, full page ads, and even half page into smaller ads have a couple elements that they all have in common, which is a headline, um, some kind of content, whether it be you know a sub headline about what they want you to do, and a logo, then some kind of contact information. That's uh, the basic elements of every ad you're going to see anywhere. Uh, And then, you know, I play around with this when it comes to uh, what's the theme, what's the image going to be. I do a lot of design work or, you know, my my main uh, passion in design is very stylized designs. That's just font and uh, artwork, Mm -hmm. um, stylized pieces. They don't have any pictures at all, but um, I've gotten used to using a lot of photographic images. Uh, my last uh, employer was really big on big, bright images, then text and info. So I've gotten really used to designing that way, even though it's not uh, my preferred method. Uh, it's what I've gotten used to doing because that's that's how so many clients want to work. So. From that aspect, you got to go find a nice high-res image that's going to work in your design. Uh, from there, you go to uh, like a, a pay site like Deposit Photo, or there's a couple of free ones online like mm. Flickr, Flick River, that. But that's kind of half pay, half. Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag on what you're going to find. But I've been using Deposit Photo for the last only like five months, and I've been really happy with their work. Uh, and you know, but even then. You find an image and it works, but it's it's not perfect. Uh, specifically for that third ad, uh, we loved the gal. We loved all the hand drawn images around her because she's kind of brainstorming, thinking about uh, different businesses and what they can offer. But the pit the picture was too small. I really wanted like two or three inches of headroom to add a headline and put some more content. So what we did is uh, I brought it into Photoshop and changed the canvas size and did a content fill and it, it, it added two inches on there. And I always say, you know, with most images you buy, you, you are going to have to do some Photoshop uh, editing work to make it fit for your piece. But if you're spending hours on it, uh, then it's, it's probably the wrong image. You know, you should only have to spend 10, 15 minutes to clean it up to bring out the most important feature of the picture. But yeah, if you're spending a lot of time, then it's just the, the night. It's not the right photo. And I've, I've made entire ads or I've gotten to the end and it's just something didn't work and it didn't work and it didn't work. And mm. you had to scrap it and start again. Wonderful. Um... Yeah, so just to wrap this up, and you also uh, did that a little bit on this gal as well. She had some drop shadows. Yeah, that, that, that last make. image was perfect uh, for what we wanted to get across in the last month of this magazine. It's a very lifestyle-oriented magazine. They do very clean, mm. very um, not gaudy ads, uh, very uh, professional-looking ads. So we just wanted something nice with a lot of negative space 
and just kind of show the company, show the logo, talk it, you know, have a couple bullet points, um, and then kind of hit it home. Uh, but yeah, with that image of the girl relaxing, uh, there was another black bar um, on the right hand mm -hmm. side that really just interfered with the text. Uh, I don't know if it's a you know part of a um, partition or part of a window frame, but uh, yeah, we just went in. I went into Photoshop and just painted over it, and it's a perfect image for this uh, for this last ad. It also gives you this kind of uh, triangle effect, uh, which I like to use in ads. And uh, what I mean by triangle effect is your eye goes from relax to the content on the left side down to the lady's face. The lady's face is pointing back up, so you go back up to the top and you get this kind of really nice flow on the ad where your eye is following the ad um, to these three points. And then down at the bottom, you hit them with the contact information. Sounds great to me, yeah. Make more money with online marketing. Well, I think this has been really a great introduction slash recap to this uh, course. This is a really important skill um, as a business owner, being able to find somebody, a designer that can represent your company mm -hmm. in a great way to be able to, you know, have your name out to the masses is so important. And usually a lot of these folks are uh, freelance. So, you know, we're really mm -hmm. lucky to have a lead designer that can, you know, I can work with and be able to have our best uh, foot forward and our best branding and really understands our brand image and that it's more than just, you know, a picture, but it's an image and it's brand. Mm -hmm. There's so much that goes into that when you're, you know, talking to, uh, for example, this luxury client, this lifestyle client that you're talking to, <clears throat> uh, you got to have something simple mm -hmm. that really talks to them that's clear. And that might be different than our flyer ads. So uh, thanks again, Lauren. I sure. uh, really appreciate it, learning this course. Yeah, it's a great course. I mean, I really take you step by step. Uh, we start every page, you know, with a white page and fill it up and get it get it going. So please check it out.